What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to a different start to the video today. Today's the, what's the date? The 2nd of September and it's FA Cup weekend. It's my third leg of my road to Wembley, so it's the first qualifying round. And as I say, it's a different start today as I'm with Patch from Three Peeps the Podcast. Hello. As you can probably see. Merchandise. Um, yeah, we're off to Odd Down against Weymouth today, which is a step five against a step three team, I believe. What, what round of the FA Cup is it? So this is the first qualifying round. So I've already done the extra preliminary, preliminary, and now it's the first round qualifying. Yeah, I was going to, originally I was planning on going to Billericay against Didcot, but I didn't want the hassle. You're a biggest fan of Billericay. Yeah, I just end up moaning. it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to hand over to Patch now. Oh, we're falling. <laughs> Moving. To ask a couple of quick questions as part of the intro. Oh, that's all. Sure. <laughs> this, this all comes from a, a book called The London Cage: The Secret History of Britain's World War II Interrogation Centre. Okay. Gave a goal kick. BBC Radio Bristol, BBC Somerset. We've had 14 minutes of the second half in this. I do hope this is the training ground. I know I'm at a low level, but I really hope this is the training ground. <laughs> We're at watching Weymouth Town, DTFC. Who are their rivals? Dorchester Town. Hmm. Theft. Shocking. AFC Bournemouth. Weymouth have got a lot to answer for. Been having a right kick about before the game. Look at all this space behind the goal. Prop football ground. The game's about five minutes away. Odd down against Weymouth. Look forward to it. Looks. Uh, I thought the crowd would be bigger. I must admit. Oh, another one. Yeah, I must admit. I thought the crowd was going to be bigger, but still probably 100, 150 here. I think might be completely wrong. Yeah, looking forward to this one. Odd down have already had an up, so they beat Mangotsford in the last round. So never know. You never know. Ping. Hopefully. And you can get my programme too. What a finish. <laughs> and he's missed. What an idiot. Streaker on the pitch and he misses. This is the best bit about non Oh, that's it. I bet that one goes in. Just in case he puts this one in instead of the previous ones. He missed the first three. Missed time this one. So the moment of truth now. Score prediction. I've absolutely no idea. Who's where are they in the leagues? So odd down a Western League Premier Division, they're fifth. Yeah. Weymouth for Southern Premier Division, two divisions higher, and they've won the last three away games. Okay. I'm gonna go uh, Weymouth four one. I was gonna say the exact same thing. <laughs> I was gonna say four one. I gotta go different, I'll go four nil. nil. Four nil. Rooting fraud down. Oh, 
Twice or three times of it at the post? Twice. Twice of it at the post already. Number 10. Still 0 0 though for Weymouth. Keep on going! Good ball! That's a cracking ball. Three, one, a B strike. Oh! Another good ball. Shoot! Rifle it! Rifle it! Come on! Got a score. Oh my god. He's offside. No, he's not. Let me send him out one way. Pass it back. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. One nil Weymouth. Ben Thompson. Ben Thompson. That was always coming. Affectionately known as Tomo. Tomo. I think we're about 40, min 40 minutes in. One nil. I'd say it's been coming. They've been absolutely dominating. But hit the post three or four times already. One nil to Weymouth. Oh, unlucky. Good ship, I guess. Why? Well, because he's number 10. That's then, probably it then. Yeah, but they, they switched the numbers around. Oh, did they? Yeah, 2 0 Weymouth. Again, deserved. Good goal, actually. Got a feel for Odd down there. Defending very well, but there's just too much yeah, coming at them. This uh, number 5 at the back. Yeah. Keeping him, don't know it? his name. Uh, not sure his name, but they're number I don't know. 5. I don't know if down. the numbers are right, to be honest. It would be Ben Bradley, potentially. Possibly Ben. You're playing well. 2 0. Good ball. That's a beautiful ball. Unlucky. Strike it. Oh, bad. Down, down to 10 men. Odd down, down to 10 men. Down, down. Deeper and down. Number six. Who's number six? Uh, I don't these, know if it's These right. numbers aren't anything to go by, to be honest. Possibly Kaylin Simpson. Two pretty shocking tackles in the space of three minutes. 
and a free kick right on the edge, possibly for three now. Did actually go in, but for so the kick. number five, number five is actually Jake Gardner. He's having a great game at that. He is, he is having a good game, but not enough. Oh, training ground. Not bad. Oh. What a strike. In. Three nil. Game well and truly over. I have no idea who scored that one. I think it took a deflection. I think that's probably nearly it as well. 3-0. Weymouth through to the second qualifying round. Oh, there's an arch. Hell of a strike. Oh, save. What a save. Pepper in the go now. And there's my score prediction, 4-0, about 3 minutes to go I'm going to guess. No. Go on number five. Good pass. There goes your Five prediction. Nil. Still haven't got a prediction right. I don't think I've got one right all season, to be honest. 5-0. At least I got... Full time, 5-0. So guys, I hope you did enjoy that match day experience. It's going to be the only one this weekend, unfortunately. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Patch came along with me for the first time in a long time. I think it's probably his first non-league one since so Manor Farm, actually. Um, yeah, Weymouth ended up winning 5-0. Very comfortable. But Odd Down did give a good account of themselves, and 5-0 was a bit harsh. But that's football, and that's the FA Cup, unfortunately. No upset today. But yeah, that was the first qualifying round done. So that's three out of the 14 possible rounds that I can do have now been completed. So on to the second qualifying round, which obviously I don't know where I'm going yet. I don't even know who's got through. I do know that Cabrighe and Bridport from the Western League are both still in it. So already they're my top pick. Um, and I'd love to support the, sort of the Western League through as far as they can go. So yeah, hope you have enjoyed. I'm actually appearing on BBC Radio Bristol after this um, to talk about that game. So that's exciting. Yeah, if I can get something in there, I'll put that in now. But I don't think I'll be able to. But yeah, if you've enjoyed, please do leave a like. Uh, if we've hit 200 likes, that'd be fantastic. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that button. We're approaching 7,000. And yeah, I will speak to you on Tuesday night. Probably. I haven't got, have I got a game plan for Tuesday? Can't remember. Um, loads planned this month. Check on my Twitter to check out my uh, schedule for September. Links in the description. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.